now that I just got out of my second viewing of The Batman, now it's time to do a review. I am going to keep this as spoiler-free as possible, genuinely. I, I want everyone to go see this movie for yourself, please. The Batman, directed by the chosen one Matt Reeves, starring Robert Pattinson as Batman, Zoe Kravitz as Catwoman, Colin Farrell as the Penguin, Paul Dano as the Riddler. The casting in this movie is damn near perfect in every fucking way. This is my favorite live-action Gotham. This has my favorite live-action Wayne Manor, essentially. This has my favorite live-action Alfred. This has my favorite live-action Penguin, live-action Riddler, favorite live-action Gordon. This is, this is the Batman movie that I've been waiting for. This movie is a live-action graphic novel, and I am thoroughly enjoying damn near every aspect of this universe. My favorite comic book of all time is Batman Year One. And I literally felt like I just watched Batman Year Two. This movie is the perfect balance in between Batman Year One, The Long Halloween, with aspects of No Man's Land, uh, Hush, and the original Detective Comics number 27 run just sprinkled in. Anyone who is sitting here complaining that this Batman is too dark and too broody and this and rah, 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 Do you know who Batman is? Oh. This isn't Superman or, or Wonder Woman or The Flash or Green Lantern. This is the Batman. He's the shadows. He is the night. He is vengeance, literally in this movie, and I love it. Robert Pattinson and Zoe Kravitz slayed Batman and Catwoman. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just put them together because there was a lot of doubt on, on actually both of these performers, genuinely, especially Robert Pattinson. He killed it as Batman. His performance was spot on. He killed it as a young, reckless, still coping with the death of his parents, Bruce Wayne attached to that vengeance and you see him throughout the course of this film genuinely grow into the dark knight i'm gonna say this and this has been something that i'm still debating on right now he might be might be my favorite live action batman of all time this gotham is so on point it is absolutely insane. From the Iceberg Lounge to, to the GCPD to City Hall, everything feels like the perfect combination in between like the Arkham Gotham and the animated series Gotham. Man, this right here, this is Gotham in every way. There are parts in the movie that I'm going to critique in my spoiler talk, but they're there's such small critiques and really just a personal preference that it's it's kind of hard to hold it against the movie when this fucking shit's a goddamn cinematic masterpiece, man. The score moves you. I'm going to say that. The score literally moves you. It tells the story along with the visuals so fucking poetically that when it takes over, it just enhances everything every scene if this movie does not get an oscar for best makeup because of colin farrell's penguin oh i'm i'm gonna riot against the oscars this year yeah each villain introduced in this movie felt so organically a part of gotham that they were a gothamite that that, that carmine falcone felt like Carmine Falcone. Dude, Oswald Cobblepot's penguin felt like Oswald Cobblepot penguin. He genuinely felt like the, the penguin. I mean, the Riddler, people are complaining that he's too like cryptic and Zodiac like. Dude, he felt like Edward Nigma to me. I totally understand why this movie's three hours, genuinely. To, to balance all these characters and introduce this new Gotham, this new Batman, this new Catwoman, etc., to introduce all of this and then to captivate the audience in the way this movie does. Man, this is this is a special moment in superhero movie history. 
this Batman is young and reckless and he's flawed. And to see this Batman, I understand where they're going with the story now. We're going to grow with Robert Pattinson's Batman. We're going to see how he integrates new tech, how he integrates new fighting styles, how he integrates working in the shadows more possibly, stuff like that. Instead of being this reckless, young, angry Batman, which every young Batman is. The beauty about this is that Matt Reeves did his homework without ripping off any comic. It's, this isn't fucking Man of Steel, Superman, Earth-1. Go read Superman, Earth-1. It's literally Man of Steel. This is one movie that I am genuinely excited to talk about in a spoiler talk live with you all because there's so much here that I just, man, I want to unveil to all of you. And like, as, as being the Batman geek that I am, the super nerd that I am, there's so much here in this movie that is just, it, it is actually mind-blowing. Matt Reeves pulled this off in the way that he did. This is going to be my favorite movie of the year. It's been my favorite movie recently. This is, this is my jam. This, this, is, this is everything to me as a Batman fan. Somehow this Batman is more realistic than the Nolan vs. Batman, which I didn't think they were going to go with at all. This, this is the most surprising part of the film is I could see this Batman happening in real life over the Nolan Batman any day of the week. Is it better than The Dark Knight? Well, you're going to have to find out later this week when I rank every single Batman movie that has hit the silver screen. That shit's going to be fun. Because this Batman's so grounded in reality with his tech, with, his, with the Batmobile, with the way that he fights, the way he takes damage, the way that he actually is, his persona, the nuance to this Batman, and even the Bruce Wayne, it literally captivates you and this three hour movie feels like two hours and 15 minutes and that's just the beauty of this movie it's incredible storytelling it's a great cinematic experience and the gripes i have are few and far between there are aspects of this gotham and characters in this movie that i never thought i would see in a live action batman film and being the lifelong batman fan that i am from starting with the animated series, then jumping to comic books and reading everything Batman from year one, The Dark Knight Returns, Hush, the Grant Morrison JLA series. I mean, I, the, the arcs, man. I mean, Killing Joke, fucking A Death in the Family, The Death of the Family, the entire New 52 run, everything to witness everything Batman that I have and to take it all in and to finally watch this this movie essentially is the love letter to Batman fans. I really do hope they keep this as its own universe, that this is Batman Earth 2 with no Justice League, nothing like that. He just, he's in Gotham doing his thing. And then you can go off and do the DCEU thing over there and do whatever you're doing with The Flash and Michael Keaton's Batman or Batfleck or whatever the fuck they're doing. Yeah, do that over there. But keep this in its own universe, because it's almost perfect. Please don't fuck this up. Genuinely, I want this to be its own thing for a trilogy, a saga. Dude, I'll take six movies in this Matt Reeves universe with a smile on my face, because this style of Batman is one of my favorite styles, which is going to bring me to that final score, and I got to give The Batman a solid 9.4. Not only is this an incredible Batman movie, this is an incredible movie. If you enjoyed the review, just drop the video a like. If you didn't, well, let me know in the comments below. Be like, bro, your reviews are boo-boo, and I'll drop you a like. That being said, this has been Jackson Saves Everything, and I hope you have the best day.